A local lawmaker is stepping up after seeing an I-Team story about neighbors fighting to fence off a retention pond. It comes after a six-year-old boy drowned their Mother's Day. Jamarian Lee was playing with his eight-year-old brother when he slipped into the water. His brother ran to get help, but it was too late to save his life. This happened at the intersection of Nolan and Thompson in Lackawanna. You can see the pond on this map. Well, now, Audrey Gibson says no matter what, a fence will be built. Channel 4's Ashley Harding joins us live from that neighborhood. Ashley, you spoke with the state senator. What prompted her to move and take action now? Well, Bruce, that state senator said she saw that original story about when that little boy drowned, but it wasn't until our story last night when she realized how serious this issue is and that there can be a fix. She's told me she's already reached out to the councilman in this area, and she says she's calling the Florida Department of Transportation this morning. But let's go ahead and show our viewers this pond once more. You can see it is pretty large. I'm also told it's about waist deep. Now, when this first happened, our I-team reached out to the city leaders who said the pond was built according to specific design and that a fence was not required. Now, city officials explained that a fence would be required if the slope around the pond was greater than one foot for every four feet of distance. But for some in this area, that's just not good enough. Now, News for Jack spoke to a woman whose sister nearly drowned in a similar retention pond three years ago. That pond did not have a fence either. And the family was told the same thing, that a fence wasn't required, but still, that family fought to have one installed, and they won that battle. State, not city officials, have said exceptions like that one can be made when there is a place where lots of children are nearby. Now, the I-team learned Pinedale Elementary School is four streets away from the pond where the boy drowned and neighbors said many of the kids walk by it every day getting to school and there's also a public park two streets away for reasons like this state senator audrey gibson said it was time to act she says she's not taking no for an answer without question there shouldn't be any we're going to see what we can do that's not the right answer the correct answer is we are going to mitigate for the public safety issues that exist at the pond period and this morning, I reached out to Councilman Garrett Dennis for his comment after hearing from the state senator. I've not yet heard back from him. It's also still a little bit early. He may not have had a chance to reach out just yet, but we are continuing to follow the story. We will bring you any new updates. Live on the West Side, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.